Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Guess what? Got packages. Well, package. The other one hasn't been delivered yet. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing here just to show you which one came in first. Guess which one? You know which one. By the responsible company, B&H. So yes, I got my Sony ECM B10 microphone. I'm pretty stoked about this. Obviously, I've been yammering on about it for like three months. I am going to open this bitch up, hook it up, and I'm gonna use it to film with for the rest of the day. Look at it, it's so cute. So basically it just comes with the box, the paperwork and all that stuff. It comes in this little pouch, and in the pouch is the microphone and the dead cat. So we're gonna put that all together and hook it up on this camera. Again, I will use it for the rest of the day. I don't know when the hub is going to be delivered. I was kind of hoping that they would they would have shown up at the same time. That's not how it worked out. So there, microphone with the furry little dead cat on there. And I'll have to go through and play around with it and decide what is gonna sound best for what I wanna do. And we'll go from there. So let's go play. Okay, kids, here it is. That new Sony ECM B10 microphone is now on my A7 IV. I have it set to, well here, let me tell you what I got it set to. Digital, the filters are off. I have it on the topmost setting for the pattern. It's on 10 decibels and the audio level is auto. What do you think? How's it sound? Okay, this is gonna be the challenge. I'm in my Forerunner, and now that I'm in the Forerunner, there's no way for me to mount this up there that will work because this sits on the hot shoe and sits up about three or four inches. I haven't measured it. It's irrelevant how much. It sticks up enough that it's not gonna work the way they had this set up. <sighs> so which means I'm gonna have to come up with a new way to mount this, or I cannot use this microphone when I'm in the Forerunner. So, yeah, gonna have to figure that out, and I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So, you know, I finally get the setup up there with the, you know, with that fall cam suction cup, and now it doesn't work because of this microphone. The next thing that I could do is what I had done before I redid all this to work with the a7 IV, and that is shoot with the Insta360 4K module anytime I'm in the Forerunner. That way I know it's gonna fit up there, there won't be an issue, and I don't have to worry about you know, having a, a second microphone. Although I will, because if I'm gonna use that just for inside the Forerunner, I'm gonna to have to have the DJI mic set up to it, I'm gonna to have to have that microphone on, and then I'll have my a7 IV with me with this microphone on. Uh, first world problems, but for now, the hub was delivered, I'm gonna go pick that up, then I have a bunch of errands that I gotta run and I needed to get off the couch and do it because I just ate for the first time today after my doctor's appointment and all the other shit I had to do after that, and now I'm in like a food coma. I just totally want to nap, so I, I had to get busy. So let's go run some errands. All right, kids, I ran my errands. I got the hub, yay. Gonna go home and definitely play with that today, later. I also had to go to Ulta to get some hair product for my always forming anime locks. And I got my wife some stuff since I was going anyways. Then I decided that it was a great day for Bean. Now, I actually don't know what the temperature is because I'm not sitting in the Forerunner, but it's gotta be probably in the, in the middle to upper 70s, at the most like 81, 82. Uh, perfect sky and uh, a nice cool breeze. But actually it was a, kind of gusty there for a second and it, the umbrella almost launched. But I thought that I'd come here and get a drink. Also, I can test this out because now I'm sitting outside. You're gonna get wind, you're gonna get vehicle noise, jets are gonna go over, and I'm now in front of the camera instead of behind it. And I'm gonna have to go through and read or watch videos and see what everybody set these stupid things to. But for the most part, I think that I will be pretty happy as far as like my taking it all over the place when I'm not in the Forerunner. Because when I'm in the Forerunner, again, right now, there's nothing that I can do. 
you know, given how much I film in the Forerunner, I'm going to have to figure something out. And basically what it gets down to is that I'm not going to be able to use this microphone. So, you know, I guess there's no way around that. Okay, fine. I admit it. There's no way around it. I can't use this microphone when I'm in the Forerunner the way that I want to use it. Meaning, having it on the dash, facing in, and, you know, filming me and or me and my wife, and being able to easily turn it and do a forward-facing, uh, you know, speed ramp. I got to tell you, this is a peach pungo latte. When these come into season, I, I could drink this all day long. Like one after the other after the other. If I had that kind of money, I probably would. Uh, can we differentiate? Um, and that's even only a bus. When I first got here and got out of, out of the Forerunner, uh, the jet flew over. That's kind of what I want. I want that jet to come over because I want to see how this handles it in its current setup. Now, all right, so if I open the screen back up and I look at it, I don't know, my, my audio looks like it's kind of where it should be. We'll find out. This isn't going to be like it is with the DJI, though. This doesn't record two different audio signals. So in case you have one that's like blown out, you've got the really low one that you can turn up. This is, you get what you get. So right now you're getting what you're getting and, and it's gonna be what it is and there's nothing I can really do about it. Oh. Sounds like a helicopter. Yes, all kinds of aircraft fly around here, obviously, but I'm sandwiched in between all these military bases. I don't know if I misread the weather and then it's next week that it's supposed to be shit whilst I'm on vacation, ha ha ha. But I, I'm shocked that it's this nice out because I, I seriously thought that it was supposed to be crappy out. Okay, here come the jets. Here comes the first one. see it but I can still hear it nuts the power okay so one jet flew over in a helicopter but nothing major uh, normal traffic going by people coming and going the wind is constantly blowing not crazy but it's there and I think that if I didn't have the dead cat on you'd definitely hear it but I don't know now you hear it this is something that you're gonna see and hear a lot on this vlog and if I'm using this microphone, this is what it's going to sound like. Unless this sounds like shit, I have to go in and change the settings. But what do you think? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to go in, have them make her drink, go drop that off. Then I'm going to go home and I'm going to bust that hub out. And I'm going to start hooking all this shit up. So let's get to it. Whew. Okay, kids. It's been a whirlwind day. But here it is. It's the OWC Thunderbolt Dock. I've been interchanging dock hub you name it just i'm sure like everybody else but the bottom line is, is that i can leave this here on the desk and plug all this shit into it so i'm not constantly plugging and unplugging stuff and you know at this point now the only thing that i should have to plug and unplug is a usb-c cable or a thunderbolt cable in and out of the computer when i take the laptop away from the desk to go i don't know chode on the couch or take it on the road me or whatever so 
yeah, you know, that that's pretty much it. Uh, again, it has been a crazy day. Oh, wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought. Here, I'll just show you. And I'm not doing the overhead because I'm not moving all this shit out of the way. But there you go. That's, that's really not that big. And that's how thick it is. Giggity. And you can see the ports on the one side and then all the ports on the other side and status lights on one end and that's it. So that's it. And I'm happy about that because I was thinking, God, I hope this thing's going to be huge. Where the hell am I going to put it? And boom, now I can put it right there on the side of the laptop that, that where there's a gap that goes to the edge of the table. And that should be perfectly fine. And that way I can access everything and, and you know, get to everything. So yeah, perfect. Now, obviously that's not all I'm going to show about this. You'll get a more extensive video. This was more of a first look and initial thought. And my initial thoughts are, holy shit, this thing's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Same thing goes for the holy shit about the microphone there. And that, you know, that's a lot, uh, well, I mean, not that I wasn't expecting it to be high. I mean, obviously it was going to be higher than the DJI uh, transmitter, or not transmitter, but the receiver. But, you know, it still offers its own set of challenges, as does anything. And you know how the monkey works, that it's a constant flow thing. I'm trying to get stuff that I think is going to work to make all this stuff easier, thus more enjoyable for me to do it. Because if it's a pain in the ass, I'm not going to do it. I enjoy this whole process because I post daily and you don't do that if you hate it. I have to be convinced. Even if you're doing grind culture, you know, mindset bullshit, you're still going to burn out at some point where you're just not going to want to do it at all. And, you know, and then you don't, you stop doing it and you stop doing it for a long time or, or there's a lot more gaps in and the gaps get longer, whatever. I enjoy doing this. I love getting new toys. I love testing stuff out and I love making videos about it and showing you guys what I got and what I think about it. Uh, I get a lot of comments from people on the stuff that I do that, you know, man, I'm glad I found this because everybody else is like, you know, like a paid influencer and, and all their stuff is bullshit and they're just trying to get you to buy more stuff. You know, you're telling it like it is and, and you know, you're actually telling us that stuff that we wanted to know, not stuff that the company wanted the, the person to say. And that's kind of where I'm at. Nobody's sending me this stuff. I'm buying all this crap myself. And I do that so that there is no conflict of interest. Well, I don't do it because of that, because nobody's sending me shit, let's be honest. But even if they were, I wouldn't do it if I had to do what they wanted me to do, because the monkey don't do that. You know, here we go. We got the, the, the power brick and the power brick cord, and then one single Thunderbolt cable that will go from the computer to the hub and we'll be all set. So I'm going to cut it short here at this point. Uh, and I'm also not going to show you how long I sat at three ships waiting for a plane to fly over because that was just stupid. But uh, that's it. Uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off by not cramming a bunch of stuff that I got to do so that I'm rushing to get shit done. And so that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.